Welcome to Tales from SYL Ranch, the BitChute channel where everyone is entitled to my opinion, and I'm Bill Stone. I got a kind of a uh, serious one to bring to you today. It's not just commentary, it's not just talking about something, this is deadly serious. We have a missing person. We are looking for a missing person in Southern California. Specifically, this is the sister of uh, one of my favorite YouTubers and someone that I know through a friend of a friend, and uh, her sister is missing. Um, the individual on YouTube, if you want to find her channel, is that Star Wars girl, and also her Twitter is that Star Wars girl seventy seven. But I don't actually suggest that you tweet to her. Now, let me give you some inform information about finding Ellen. We are looking for Ellen. I'm not giving out her last name because I don't know what the security implications of that might be. She is twenty two years old, with long blonde hair, brown eyes, slim, and probably wearing flowery clothing. She was last seen June 23, 2019, at approximately 3.30 p.m. Pacific. She was leaving her friend's apartment in San Ramon, California, when she was last seen. Ellen drives a white 2003 Toyota 4Runner with black trim and a black luggage rack, and the car is in pretty good condition, as you can see here. Its plates are California, beginning with, and the last two uh, characters are obscured intentionally, Beginning with 6CID2, that's 6 Charlie India Delta 2, 6CID2. As you can see from the back, there's a lot of different st stickers on the hatch, just uh, telling, talking them off here uh, briefly. Two different butterfly stickers, a pair of hand prints, uh, I'm sorry, uh, a love sign, a peace sign, a smiley face, a cat, a pair of handcuffs, a globe with a tree on top, and a coexist bumper sticker. And at least uh, two others there are obscured enough that uh, I can make them out. Uh, go over to uh, that Star Wars Girls uh, Twitter and have a look at it for yourself if you want. Now, um, she was last seen as of uh, June 27th, 2019. Well, not last seen, but her phone was pinged. Apparently her phone is still active, it was last night was pinged in the Lodi, California area, in the area bounded by what you see here. Now, if you want to see a better resolution picture of this thing, go to the first link, the first Twitter link to where I have that Star Wars Girls updates. Go to the first link and you get a nice high res, high def version of this. Um, she was also in on June 27, 2019 at 6.30 p.m. Her car was reported in the Stockton, uh, California area. Now, um, if you run in, if you have any information, if you know where this is, you know anybody who knows anybody who knows anybody, if you see anything associated with Ellen, if you see an Ellen, tweet to me. I would suggest that you tweet to that Star Wars girl, but frankly, I suspect her Twitter feed is exploding with messages of condolence and God knows what else. She's probably having a hard time just cutting through the chaff. So tweet to me, because I don't get any tweets, just tweets to speak of. Tweet to me, and I will make sure that it gets to the right person, because again, in this particular instance, I know somebody who knows somebody. Now, speaking to my family of science fiction fans, we have a long history. You may think that it's just recently that we've started bitching with each other about everything in sight, and you would be wrong. We have been bitching about everything in sight since the early days of literary science fiction a hundred years ago. We have bitched about it, we have argued about it, we have screamed about it, we have occasionally even come to blows about it, believe it or not. But when the chips are down, we have never failed to help a fellow fan in need. Well, the chips are down. I don't have to tell you, time is of the essence. The longer she goes without being found, the more likely it is something bad happened to her. And we can find her. I know we can. I know what our resources are. If we got in our cars, if fans in Southern California got in our cars and just started grid patterning San Ramon, Stockton, Lodi, anywhere around it, we would find Ellen. I am dead certain of it. So once again, we are looking for Ellen. By the way, if you're going to try to share this on social media, and please do, share it with the hashtag FindEllen, because we're trying to get this all under one single hashtag so that there's some chance maybe that it will, um, you know, that it'll trend. Maybe more people will see it and more people, more eyes, more likely to find Ellen. Notwithstanding you being a science fiction fan, because I know that you can find Ellen. 
So we're looking for Ellen. She is 22 years old, long blonde hair, brown eyes, uh, slim, Caucasian, wearing a flowery clothing. Last seen for certain on June 23, 2019, at approximately 3.30 p.m. Pacific, leaving her friend's apartment in San Ramon, California. She drives a white 2003 Toyota 4Runner with black trim and black luggage rack with California plates beginning with 6CID2. That's 6 Charlie India Delta 2. Lots of stickers on the back. And was recently, her phone was recently pinged last night at 9 p.m. At, uh, in Lodi, California. And uh, it was also her car was reported in Stockton, California a few hours earlier than that. So if you get something on this, Tweet to me, at SYL Ranch on Twitter, um, and uh, share this thing, share any videos that you might see having to do with Ellen, because there are multiple ones out there now in the science fiction fandom area. We have been putting out videos. So if you see one out there, um, you know, tweet something to me, uh, share things on social media under the hashtag FindEllen hashtag. And if you want to see my Twitter, there's a link for it. If you want to see that Star Wars Girls Twitter, there's a link for it. There's several updates where you can see you know exactly what she's been doing. You can get a larger definition picture of both this and the ones that are uh, uh, the map bounding the area where she's at. And I would certainly ask you to help. And if you are a science fiction fan, get with your friends, get in your car, and set out grid direction patterning everything. Grid pattern the hell out of everything. With the resources at our disposal, we'll find her. Think of it this way. As they used to say in the 1980s TV series, The Greatest American Hero, this is the one that the suit was made for. So that's all the time that I have for this episode of the highly acclaimed, world-renowned Tales from SYL Ranch, the bit you channel where everyone is entitled to my opinion. Let's get out there and let's find her. This is the one that the suit was made for. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.